Time for twins part. It's going to be a damn good show. Yeah. Hey, what do you think is going to happen this next election? <laughs> I think we're f***ed, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, like I said, you know. This is a common with... sense world. It would be uh, another fucking Reagan Mondale election. Yeah, dude. People had fucking common sense. <laughs> it started when they took the porn stars out of our conferences. You know what I mean? It's like it all went downhill from there. It's like, yeah. Yeah. I said, we can't have nothing. Uh, when we go uh, when we go to this election, so, he, oh man, I don't want to get too, too black pilled. I'll just say it briefly. Um, the major elections are pretty much useless most times other than the, la the last two in this one because obviously, uh, you know, super PACs with foreign interests, we'll just leave it there. I mean, really, yeah. they make sure that there are two, uh, you know, machine approved. I'll call it machine. You can call it deep state, whatever you want. I don't want to turn people off by using the word deep state. But, mm -hmm. you know, the bureaucracy, whatever the global order and bureaucracy wants, there is outside money that comes in to ensure that the candidates that <laughs> win on the Republican and the Democrat side right. – are both approved and are not going to shake up the status quo as much as they promise, right? And that they're both going to be beholden to the military industrial complex, to Israel, and to fight foreign wars. And so then you have the illusion of choice, the election, where you're you are getting some differences. You know, mm -hmm. you, you I mean, you know, Republicans are gonna be different on economic policies, but nobody's gonna shake up NAFTA. Nobody's gonna really, you know, end globalism. You're not gonna have mm -hmm. an issue with that. Um and now that we have uh now that we have that issue of the of the state approved uh State approved candidates. I don't even call them candidates. They're just like chosen, you know, people, right? Yeah, like I wouldn't chosen call Kamala a damn candidate. Yeah, she's not a candidate. They're like they're like chosen operatives. Um, you know, it's like I said, it's unfortunate that Lauren Chen took money from uh, Russia, <laughs> not Israel, because then she would not only been free and not arrested or not charged, she also could have called everyone who criticized her an anti semite, which would have been made her immune well, from criticism. She'd been cool if she was dating Hunter. Yeah, she would have gotten a raise at Blaze. You know what I mean? Yeah. She would have been up there, you know? So I've been like, she could have taken over the company. You know what I mean? Yeah, who she I think her daddy is, Joe Biden? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm sorry. You're a, you're an attractive woman that is against abortion and critical of Israel and wants to hold Trump accountable for, uh, you right. know, get, simping on the vax and on, on uh, Israel's <laughs> dick, you know? You, know, I, you remember I'm just when saying. Trump was on, he was at a rally, he, po he brought Johnson Johnson on stage? <laughs> you could hear a pin drop in that bitch. <laughs> Everybody, you know, I just want to really appeal to, I want to appeal to the common man. Here's a billionaire pharmaceutical <laughs> <laughs> executive. You know, he's making a lot of money, you know, and then you guys all like that. You guys all like money, right? You're like, the hell? <laughs> it's not a lot of it going around these days, is it? And you're like, no, no, there's a lot of vaccines, though. Thank um, God I'm a billionaire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like a t turning point. Bring on like farm, like you know you have like what's it called, like Farmer John's or whatever. It's yeah. like, you know what kids love? A guy who runs a you know subway shop. You're like, Shit, man. <laughs> Meet a lot of those people every day. Anwar and Tahid. You know they run all the subway shops around me. But but uh, no, this election is um we're we're it's really hard to know because Trump is taking a lot of money. I mean you know where we're at. We got the Adelson money around. Hope here, he didn't you know? take anything from Russia. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> let's just say this: if he took it from Russia. Um, I think we would have known by now because we even know yeah. the, we know the shape of his own penis. You know what I mean? I, like, yeah. I mean, remember when they did that on uh, on that late night show? They had Stormy Daniels come out and like pick out the shape oh, of his yeah. penis. I'm like, really? we know more just... about that guy than I know about myself. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't even like to believe that mine's as small as it is. You know what I mean? It's like I'm in denial. But but I think when our country's a little bit in denial with what's going on because in order to win and not to be killed, which they try to kill him, Trump has capitulated vastly mm -hmm. to a lot of foreign interests. And it sucks because he's done a lot of capitulating to Jewish Americans and to the military industrial complex in particular. And then the polls just came out from the J Post mm -hmm. uh, yesterday that 73 to 78 percent, I think they averaged at 75, but I don't like, you know, whole numbers like that or like whole, whole rounds um, of Jewish people are still supporting uh, Kamala. So, you know, all the pandering to blacks and to Jews and to women, it doesn't seem like it's really panned out um, in the way that the Republican Party plans. So he's had shitty advisors. And I just wish he would, you know, appeal. I think if you appeal to the ideas and desires of straight white people, you will build the country because the country was built on what? Racism. And so appeal to the <laughs> racists and what? You get a country that's being built, not torn down. So that's my opinion. I mean, that's. Uh, hey, do you remember when Vivek was running for president? That dude pulled horribly. Yeah. Yeah, I told him, I said, dude, if you had blonde hair, blue eyes, and had a 1776 tattoo in your face, you'd be Trump's VP. Yeah, well, it's true. I mean, and you get to his last name was like, 
you know, Italian and it was a type of like processed meat, you know, you got like bruschetta yeah. and ramsaswamy. I would have believed him, you know what I mean? <laughs> Put some fucking hot mustard on that, I'll eat it, you know? <laughs> I, it, was, it was just the Hindu thing, you know what right. I mean? I think, I think it's yeah. the lack of use of deodorant that turns people off. Like, yeah. I, Did you see the interview with Ann Coulter? No, what happened? Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> I don't hear Ann Coulter, it usually is followed by, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> you need to check that out, What dude. happened? That shit was crazy. She said it was too dark to be a uh, president, and she's not wrong. Yeah. You know, and, and, like from a Republican. Point yeah, of but but she but she's not wrong because because like here's the deal, is like even when I post something stupid, like I posted the J Post article that the three fourths of Jews are supporting Kamala, and I get a lot of the same posts when I talk about how most women are voting for her and etc. Mm -hmm. Is you get a lot of low IQ people being like, well, I'm a Jew and I'm voting for Trump, so I don't know what you're talking about, you anti semite, and you're like, look, I. Did you not see the other side of the poll? It said 25% are voting for Trump. Like, mm -hmm. it didn't say all, and I didn't say all, and I'm not accusing, I'm not coming into an entire group of people. Mm -hmm. Same thing when you talk about women, like, you know, hey, the majority of women are voting in a ways that are destructive patterns to our country. And yep. usually the women that are not voting destructive are usually married, and they're usually married to yeah. what? A conservative man, and right. they align their their ideas to yeah. whatever the man they're married to, and so it becomes conservative, right? And often, often when women have children and have a man in the home and stability, they don't need to rely on the government, so they have no reason to be voting. You know, they want to have you know, resources you know what, in the home. You know what's crazy? I heard this one dude say, and at the time I didn't agree with him because, you know, I'm black and I'm biased. <laughs> <laughs> but he said... Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go. <laughs> he said... Women couldn't vote for a reason because they couldn't think. <laughs> yeah. The black people was treated not like citizens in the country because they thought they might be destructive because it's from a foreign land. Only people who should be able to vote in this country is white people, white pe white men. And l looking back on what he's saying, if that was true today, the I don't know if the country would be better off, but I'm looking at how women vote, how blacks vote, and minorities vote. There's some truth to what he said. Because they are the, this country's own decimate. Because a lot of people saying diversity is our strength. No, diversity would be a strength of ours if everybody had one common goal and had one God and, and we all bleed in the same thing. Now we got like our people is like four gods, four different types of women, four types of men. It's just our diversity is our weakness right now because we are the, a country divided and we don't think like black people. They don't, when they look at the American flag, they think it's racist. They don't yeah. see that. Is that. They don't see that flag as our flag. No, they I know. truly don't. That's truly how they believe. That's a strength for Democrats. Yeah, but diversity is strength diversity, for Democrats because they they're able to divide and conquer. Well, yeah, because the strength comes from grievance politics. And I think that's what people yeah. don't understand about politics is you need unification. So you don't need yeah. strength. You need unity. Right. Like that's a more important factor. So is diversity unity? No. Is it is it strength in that it divides and weakens national identity, which makes it easier for universal global control? Absolutely. It makes you a global citizen who cares more about like an idea than you do about your own borders or your mm. place, right? Yeah. Which is their, the flip thinking. It's, it's the NGO yeah. global order idea of you're a global citizen. You care more about equity and fighting yeah. racism. Black people, than white you do. people don't even care about our border security. No, they no. They, they, that's why country. it's not fixed. The reason why abortion isn't illegal is because people actually don't care. Right. Because if you, like, you know what I mean? If you thought it was murder, <laughs> which I have thought about murdering um, people who commit abortion. Like, I'll be honest with that. Like, I've thought mm. about just, like, I thought about it, uh, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. like in, like, like, like would I, and, and I want to get caveat this, so that if I get accused of saying, oh, he's premeditated murder. No. I've thought about what is murder, mm. and I've thought about would I kill someone to prevent someone from murdering someone. Like, would I, would I, would I take a life in a just situation, which is a just taking of life, to save an innocent life from being taken unjustly. That's too much common sense. Wait, and then the answer is yes. Yeah. And I ask myself, well, then why have I not killed, you know, uh, ab abortion doctors? And the truth of the matter is, is because I don't think that that would fix the issue, right? In my opinion, if I went out and just like killed, so I'm not encouraging violence. I'm not encouraging anyone to kill people. I have to really say that. That's a very sensitive topic. Yeah. I'm not encouraging violence. I'm not actually premeditating violence, and I'm not talking about. It. I'm just these are thoughts that go in my head. It's a weird head. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, that's not just because I'm, you know, background as a German, it's huge. But, you know, the idea is, is that the, these people, like I go, it's really because I just don't have enough people around me. We're not enough people really care. Mm -hmm. Because if enough of us really cared and really thought that murder was happening at our doorstep, then we could collectivize and go together. But when I really talk to conservatives, what do I actually get? So I actually do care. And I'm not saying that some of you don't care enough to really think that. But you're smart like me and you go, one person just going out and shooting 
you know, whatever, you're going to be a terrorist, like a school shooter, and mm -hmm. it's actually going to cause more problems, more protections for abortion. It's actually going to be militarized. Now you're going to have armed yeah. guards, and, and now these, these ba the, you know, now they're protected by, by guns. It's like all backwards, right? right. Now, they're the, now the Democrats are the party of yeah. firearms and self-defense. You know, it's going to change. The whole you became gonna a member of a SOP. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so then you go, so what, then what is the option? Okay, well, we'd have to collectivize to make change. I'm telling you this, conservatives love abortion, and they do not care about it. I promise you that. Or I should say Republicans, because Republicans aren't really conservative, and the, the MAGA movement is not conservative at all. So um, conservatives do care about abortion, but the majority of Republicans are not conservative, and mm -hmm. the majority of MAGA is not. That's a yeah. real good distinction to yeah, put. Yeah, majority yeah. of uh, Republicans are actually liberal. Correct. Mm -hmm. They're just like, they're neoliberal. Yep. Which I was at one point, because it's neoliberal is a form of mental illness uh, <laughs> that is... It is. It's a form of diagnosed yeah. mental illness, more real than anything we're diagnosing today, yeah. where... You um, have a above an average to an above average IQ, mm -hmm. so you want to extend the same grace and respect for people around you that you have to extend to yourself to cope with living every day and not cope negatively with 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 drugs or with suicide or some way out, right? So you find a level of coping mm -hmm. to accept your mistakes you've made, your weaknesses, where you're at. You realize you're not perfect, and so you you project it onto other people and realize they're not perfect either, mm -hmm. and so you want to give them the respect that they need. Let me tell you, motherfucker. A lot of people need a lot less respect in this country, okay? Yeah. They need they need a rude awakening. Especially Tyreek Hill. <laughs> yeah. Bro, <laughs> seriously, man. Seriously, just comply, dog. Like for a Dude, second. Dude, if we just know? kept his window down, just be cordial with the cops. It, None of that happens. And it is aggression, right? I mean, and, and that's what we're talking about with all this stuff. Like, that's another thing. If 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 Democrats really cared about police brutality or cared about blacks, if anyone really cared about what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. Things could be solved to at least a yeah. greater extent. Yeah. yeah, things in our country are not solved intentionally, right? Mm -hmm. When we wanted to build a country, we built it. We solved mm -hmm. our issues. We needed more land, we took it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. When we when we wanted when we needed treaties with people, we made them. Yeah. When we wanted independence, we got it. You yeah. know, if we have goals and we're unified, y'all brought the black people, <laughs> dude. We, bro, what do you my last name going. is? Who's had we? A good thing going. Y'all brought the blacks. <laughs> you know, bro, we did not bring them. We bought them. And white people have money and we like to purchase things. You know? I'll be honest. If you guys were for sale, you'd be my first pick. You know what I mean? You guys I'd are have been big. a horrible slave. <laughs> yeah. You could carry been, some where shit. Where you get this lazy Negro? <laughs> I'll take the big ones. Two of them, please. No, but like, like, I'm like, I'm, you know, and it's crazy. I mean, the only, you know, now you, you can You know only... what's crazy? A lot of people don't, not even familiar with this, but everybody was a slave. All walking Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's, no one's comfortable that they're all slaves today. Yeah, it's esoteric. It's just it's a different type. It's a it's a technocratic you know f slavery. Right. So right. And, and I'm not being esoteric. I mean a genuine, a genuine fact is is that you know back in the 19 I think 50s, uh, like less than 10 percent of high schoolers had experienced a depressive episode. Now it's over 90 percent. Okay, so pe mental mental health is not a joke, um, and I'm not being the left like oh you know mental health. So th that's a ploy, another side to get you to take medicine, right? Yeah. People are unhappy because there's no collective identity. And when you don't have identity, you don't have direction. When you don't have direction, then you get no motivation. When you have no motivation, you become susceptible and open to indoctrination. And when you're indoctrinated, you begin to take on identities that are outside of your design and outside of the parameters to which you were designed to comprehend. Yeah, the prices of everything is high as shit. It's high as hell. Yeah, we all know it's because of inflation. It's much worse than our politicians want us to know. Yeah, and when the collapse comes, and because it will, these rich assholes will only get rich. We want to make sure we give y'all some help before this shit goes down. The good white people at Genesis Wealth Company have put together a comprehensive wealth guide to help protect your assets tied to our failing dollar. Go to goldrushpatriot.com and let our friends at Genesis Gold help you get prepared today. And the best part about this guide, it's 100% free. Tell them the Hawks twins sick. Yeah.